Welcome to the Mental Toughness Academy for Youth Sports. This video is the next segment of a series of trainings for coaches to learn how to teach mental toughness to their athletes. The enemy of mental toughness is fear. Fear of failure. Anyone who's coached for more than about two weeks has seen this in their athletes, correct? <laughs> All right, that's kind of understanding fear is nothing more than your unconscious mind, which I was talking about before, releasing some chemicals in your body, making you feel something. So when we start breaking down and, and helping these kids understand what fear is, if you're dealing with a kid who's really in the midst of it, See, in their mind, they're totally insecure. They don't know where they're, what's going on in their life. Their whole identity's built around them being an athlete, a jumper, a runner, whatever. And then they've got this fear, and they think their world's coming to an end. But if you were to explain to them, listen, hey, John, you know what? You're just experiencing some chemicals right now. They're like, what? So what happens is your body just releases some chemicals and makes you feel something. I'll say, you know how you ever feel like uh, butterflies in your stomach? Are there any butterflies there? No. No. What is it? Well, there's just some chemicals, your own chemicals, that are latching on to the cells of your stomach lining and giving you the sensation that there's butterflies. Isn't that interesting? See, they give meaning to that. The meaning you want to give them is, it's just some chemicals doing some things. You know, if you feel pressure, literally, people probably came up with that idea of pressure because they literally probably feel like a vice grip is over their head. And people get headaches and they feel tight. Pressure, right? Those are just chemicals too. It doesn't mean anything. So I'm all about helping these kids demystify what fear is for stars. That's what this whole introduction to this is about. When they start seeing fear as just some things my body does, that's all. And, and, and if you want to question them about it, go ahead and question, really, what do you think it means? Well, it means I'm scared of whatever. I'm scared of disappointing my, my coach, you, my, my parents, my teammates. I'm afraid of embarrassment. What you're doing when you ask these kind of questions, and I, and I highly recommend it when you're dealing with performance things, like ask questions. Get them to demystify. Dig in. Don't let them just say, I'm scared, and let it hang there. Okay? What you're going to do is listen for emotional words. You're going to listen. <coughs> disappointment. Did you hear disappointment out of that? Embarrassment? Uh, failure. Well, I don't let that hang out in the air either. I said, what does failure mean? Well, it's, uh, you will invariably, if you ask enough questions, you'll get an emotion. And when you get to the emotion, oh, well, guess what? Those are just chemicals too. Because here's the thing. Fear, we do fear for two things. We do fear for physical danger, right? We also do, as humans, we do fear of emotion. That's it. There's no other reason for fear. Fear of emotion can be eliminated. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.